All right, butt and back going down today, so make sure you have your dumbbells. I'm going to be using a medium resistance band. You're going to need those for two stations, so make sure you have them. You can do it without, but it'll feel better than that booty if you have it. So butt and back today. We're going to start that first round, that first station off with a little bit of cardio to kind of help us warm up. So we're going to need no weights for this first one. We're going to do a big squat. So you're thinking reaching high, tapping down, reaching high, tapping down. So that's going to be part of our dynamic warm up. And then we'll go straight into windmills right with that dumbbell, windmills left with that other dumbbell. And then we'll finish off that station with some high knee overhead pulses. So ready, feet are nice and wide. We're going to get started in three, two, uh, one. So reach up, go on the toes, drive down, tap the floor. So big and quick. Nice full body dynamic movement here, reaching high and tapping low, getting into those glutes and into the shoulders, warming that body up. Okay, big, 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 big. Three more. We're going to grab that dumbbell and windmill to the right side. In three, two, and one. So I've got my 10 pound. I'm going to glide that left hand down my thigh. I'm going to reach up and look at that hand. Come back up. Again, this is part of your warm up. So if you are not quite warm enough in the shoulders to hold that weight, you can ditch it for round one. One more. All right, let's switch sides, taking it to the left. Plant the right foot hand, arm reaches, glide that hand down the leg. Nice and easy. Look up at that weight at the top. Good, feeling that side body stretch and then contract as you squeeze it up. Now we're gonna get back into that cardio with those high knees in three, two, and one. So holding onto that dumbbell, start to give me those high knees. And when you have that balance, go ahead, add that overhead pulse, okay? Light on those toes, driving those knees, pumping the arms. If the arms aren't quite ready, you can always ditch that dumbbell, okay? Higher knees, lighter toes. Go to you got five, three, two, and one. Good job, my friends. So, hopefully, a little warmed up. Gonna hit that again. Go for iced coffee today. No dumbbells, big movements. In three, two, one. Reach, drop. Reach, drop. Don't forget that calf raise at the top. So tap the floor, come onto those toes. Good. Reach, push. You could potentially have a weight here if you feel confident that you're not going to dump into your back. Five seconds. Three, two, and one. All right, you need that single dumbbell. Going into that windmill, right side. Reach up. Good. Feel that hand glide down the thigh and reach up with that shoulder, looking up at that hand. Reach, 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 reach. Good, perfect. Five seconds, my friends. All right, switching hands. Left arm extends. Right arm reaches. Good, try to keep that body nice and stacked. Good. You have 10 more seconds. Big breath as you come up. Inhale as you scoop it down. Give me five seconds. Three, two. All right, overhead, so push. Up, up, up. So try to get those elbows into that chest and then shoot them straight up, high knees. Excellent. Got a little bit of coordination here. You're doing good, you're doing good. 10 solid seconds. Higher knees, higher knees. Three, two, and one, good job. Getting that blood flowing, feeling good. Shake it out if you need to. Anything feeling tight, we got one more time. 
So getting ready for that dynamic squat. If you want to keep the weight, you can. Three, two, and one. Reach high, drop it low. Good. Remember, this is quick. Push. Push. Calf raise at the top. When those hands come up, I want you on those tippy toes. Ten seconds. Three, two, and one. Driving onto that dumbbell. Windmills. Let's go. Good, my friends. Nice and ready for that button back after this round, right? Yeah. Ten seconds. Finishing it strong. Last two. Last one, right here. And switch sides for me. Left arm extends, right arm reaches. Good, nice and easy. Gliding that hand down that leg. Big breath in as you reach. Big exhale as you climb up. Engage through that left oblique. 10 more seconds. Three, two, and one. So getting into that high knee and grab pulse. High, high, high. Perfect. Here's your home stretch, friends. Finishing out this last set here. Right, pick up that pace. Get a little higher for five. Three, two, and one. Good job. So, in preparation for the next round, get your bungee. It's going around the ankles, okay? You're gonna need your dumbbells for um, all of them but the first one. So the first one, you're gonna squat, step forward, lunge. Squat to lunge, okay? Then you're gonna grab your dumbbell and you're gonna do a overhead press with a kickback. So left arm's gonna reach, left leg's gonna kick straight back. Same thing, other side, okay? Kick back and reach. And you'll finish it off with bicep curl kickbacks. So you'll kick your booty and bicep curl. All right, grab those resistance bands around those ankles. We're on. Squat, step right, little lunge. Squat, step left, little lunge. So on that lunge, you want to step at an angle. Okay? It's a small lunge, but you're going to feel it. So think about that back knee dropping as that front foot steps angle, okay? Three, two, and one. Holding that single dumbbell, taking it into a kickback. So you want that right foot to come straight back, back as that left hand shoots up, okay? Focus on that glute. Hamstrings engaged, kicking back, keeping tension in that band. Three, two, and one. Let's switch sides, taking it into that left leg, right arm reaches. So all of this should be working every time you kick that foot back. Hamstrings engaged, glutes turned on, fired up. You have five seconds, friends. Get ready to grab that other dumbbell. And one. So now you're gonna do butt kicks with that bicep curl. So kick under and across that booty, adding that bicep curl. Good, yep. So feel that opposite heel to opposite booty. Stay low, use that curl, power through those biceps. Five seconds, three, two, and one. Good job. So keep those resistance bands. We got that all again, starting with that squat lunge. You ready for it? Heck yeah. Three, two. 
All right, squat, step right, little lunge. Squat, step left, little lunge. So the lunge is not big, okay? A little step at an angle, drop that back knee. Put that pressure in that back knee when you step forward. Allow that knee to drag you down, of course. Let's go. Squat, step and lunge. Squat, perfect. Three, two, and one. Now kick it back. If you are not feeling these in your glutes, what I want you to do is think about flexing your foot and driving with your heel. Try to kick the ceiling with that heel. That's how aggressive you want that flex in that heel. You wanna feel that whole backside squeezing. Five seconds. All right, let's go ahead and switch sides. Kicking back with that left leg. So left leg kicks back. I'm working those back sides today, ladies. Right shoulder extends, left leg kicks back. Almost there. 10 more seconds. Woo. You got it in five. Finish it up. Three, two. All right, butt kicks. Grab the other dumbbell. Opposite heel, opposite glute. Bite step curls. Gonna kind of stay low here as you reach under and across that body. Excellent, excellent. Ooh, definitely feeling those glutes this morning. Hopefully you are too. Five more seconds. All right, rest it out there, my friends. One more set of those. We're gonna keep those resistance bands for that third round too. So be ready for that. Three, two, all right, little, little squat, little lunge. Low, back and down. Excellent, my friends. A little squat in between each lunge. Five seconds. All right, grab that dumbbell. Kick it back. Lift it straight up. Think about that flex on that heel. Get that glute. Kick it back. Good, you're gonna feel that from all the way down that leg to the top of that knee. Five seconds. All right, switching sides. Uh, my friends. Finishing out this power set. Think about those abs for a second there. Take a deep breath in. Pull that belly button into that spine. Kick back a little bigger. Resist it on the way in. Three, two, and one. Both hands. Butt kicks, biceps. Let's go. But keep curling, keep kicking, all the way through this 30 seconds. Finish out this set. Stay low, okay? Don't stand up all the way. We're not locking those knees. You can take it to a wide hammer. You can play with those curls. How are you feeling today? Three, two, and one. All right, so keeping that resistance band on, you're gonna hold a squat and you're gonna hold it down out so instead of kicking back we're kicking straight out so squat open and extend squat open and extend for the next one you'll flip that grip you'll squat open and extend here all right and then for um c you're gonna take it into a pulse where you extend it out and lift it here. All right, three, two, and one. So 
hands are in hand, or candlestick position. Squat, kick it straight up. And on that kick, you're gonna open up those arms. Okay, it should feel like a door opening each time you lift that leg. Squeeze. Almost there. All right, switching legs, my friends. So now flip that grip, those palms are facing up. Squat, open. So feel that external rotation all in those shoulders. Good. Got 10 seconds, friends. Oh, my eights are feeling heavy. <laughs> you got five, three, two, and one. So I'm gonna ditch one, and every time I extend this leg, this hand's gonna come up and out, up and out. So you're doing that overhead extension with that right foot kicking out. Good. Make sure you get that full sweep out, working that adductor. Five seconds. All right, switch sides. Right arm's planted, left arm's in the kick. Straight up, straight up. Again, I have a flexed foot. I'm letting my knife edge of my foot push away. Good, my friends. Squeeze that left cheek. Five seconds. And one. Good job. Ooh. Excellent, excellent. So, we are going in to that next set. Grabbing onto that dumbbell. Palms are in. And let's go. Squat. Open and extend. Good, so from the side, you should look like the letter L with the arms. Squat down, open up to the sides. All right, good. Elbows are locked in on that side body. Good, almost there, friends. Three, two, all right, now flipping those hands, palms are facing up. Same movement, opposite side, with those palms facing up. Getting some supersets today. Heavy loading these muscle groups right here. Love it. 10 seconds. Where's that core? Take a breath in. Squeeze those abs, tighten up through that back. And one, taking one. Sweeping overhead. Do not, do not open the door. The cat will get out. Close it. Sorry. My daughter has a cat and it likes to try to get out. I swear to God, Emmett Lee. Three, two, and one. Switching it there. So I will not be uploading this video to YouTube. <laughs> Good, keep squeezing my friends. Stay low with that leg, that standing leg is balancing for me. Five more seconds. And one, good job. I am so excited to say that this resistance band is going away after this round, okay? Push through this, I know, I know. Both dumbbells here, palms are facing in. Three, two, and one. Squat, open and extend. There it is, open it up. Less than 10 seconds here, friends. Three, two, and 
one. Now flip that grip. Palms are facing up. Squat, open. Got a nice proud chest here. Don't let that back drop. Stay lifted and tight. 10 more seconds. Good. You're there. Hold it. Three, two, that one. Ditching that one. Taking it here. So lift of your head. Anybody else feel it in their muffin tops? <laughs> Give me a thumbs up if you feel it in that muffin top too. I'm feeling it all. <laughs> yeah, right? <laughs> 10 seconds. Three, two, I switch sets. Here we go. Perfect. Squeeze it, my friend. Squeeze it. Big kick out. We got all upper body for this next round. So enjoy this booty squeeze. You got 10 more seconds with it. We'll say goodbye to that band in five, three, two, and one. All right, let's peel off those bands, ditching them. So again, if you have a stool or a chair, you can use it to, to kneel on, but you don't have to have it. So that first one, you're gonna have a straight arm and you're extending straight out into a letter T. And then for letter B, you'll kick back, or sorry, row and do a kick back, okay? Same thing, those two exercises on the left side. Again, you don't have to have a stool. I just find that it helps me uh, keep my hips squared and I don't dump into my back. So ready positions, we start in three, two, all right. Straight arm. So kneeling down, chest is squared. Lift, lift, perfect, yes, exactly, straight out of that arm, keeping a soft hinge in those hips. Less than 10 here, oh, we're feeling good. Three, two, and one, now bent over, row, kick back, in and out. So those shoulders are squared, but you're gonna have a little bit of rotation through that shoulder girdle. So allow that body to naturally open up there without turning, okay? Keep it squared with that nice rotation without that full turn. Control it, okay? Don't swing it. Three, two, and one. Switching to the other side. Straight arm right here. Yes, button back today, baby. I'm loving these um, specific muscle group days. I feel like having those supersets in between that full body cardio is just my jam. I got less than 10. Finishing it out right here. Three, two, and one. Now give me that row, back, extend. Okay, full extension here. Okay, so making sure that you give me that full row before you kick it back, return to the row, and then release. So really break up those movements and accentuate each single movement while flowing. Okay, five seconds. And one, go ahead, let's rest it out. All right, this is, this is Burger, if you can see him. My daughter's dog, which, you know, that means it's now my dog, my problem. <laughs> now hinging forward, picking in that right side. There we go, straight out of that shoulder. I'll be mad if he pees. <laughs> Good, less than 10. Almost there, friends. Three, two, and one. Feel that kickback right here. 
Maybe that row, kick back. Full, full, full pull, full extension. Good, keep going my friends. Good. 10 more seconds. You may make it back in Kim. Five more. Three, two, and one. Now taking it to the other side. Give me that full extension on that right side. Good, that left arm, I'm sorry, extends. Perfect, 10 more seconds here. Gonna get some cardio in this next round. So enjoy this break from the hard cardio. All right, take it into that row with that tricep right here. Row, kick back. Abs are tight, help support that low back with that strong core. Excellent, my friends. 10 seconds, ladies, gents, finish it out. Three, two, and one. Ooh. One more time through. And we're ready for some more booty and cardio? I think so. Right, ready, positions. Three, two, and one. Straight out of that arm. You don't want to kneel, you don't have to. You want to stand up. Keep a bend in that knee, or you can take it for that full hinge. Good, my friends. Five more seconds. All right, switching it there. One row, one kick back. Excellent. Keep that nice flat back if you're bent over. Keep that hinge static. Five seconds. All right, friends, switching sides. Left arm's gonna extend. Get that nice hinge straight out of that arm. Lock out that elbow. Let that top of the arm lead towards that sky, coming straight out of that shoulder, no higher than that shoulder joint. Perfect. Last three, two, and one. Kick back row right here. Row, extend, and down, good. Row, extend, Perfect, perfect, perfect. Hold on to this. You got 10 seconds, friends. Three, two, and one. Good job. So we're done with those dumbbells for this next set. We're gonna work some, uh, some squats and kicks. Some of my favorite moves from kickboxing. You're gonna step together, side kick, step together, squat. Step, kick, step, squat, okay? The next one, you're gonna hold and do three little kicks. So it's three, two, one, three, two, one. And we'll do that the same exact moves on the other side. So squat, kick, squat, hold, switch it to the other side. You got this. All right, so let's start with that side kick. Both legs are together. Kick out to the side. Land it together, step out. Together, kick, together, squat. Obviously, the quicker you go, the more that heart rate's gonna get up. So you may just wanna get familiar with the movement and then start building that power. Maybe do lower version for A on that practice round. And by the time we get to that power set, go for it. All right, now, all the weights in your left foot. Hinge into that left side. You're gonna tap low, 
medium, high, and down. Half foot low, medium, high. Good, we're gonna get all of the side body, all of that booty right here. There you go, low, medium, high. Left leg's got all that weight in it. Five more seconds. All right, let's switch each side. So now that left leg, give me a side kick, come to the middle, squat together, kick. Squat together, kick. So on that kick, I wanna make sure you bring the knee up first and then push, okay? It's that side push kick. Lead with that knee, drive with that heel. Five more seconds. Now hopefully you're picking up that pace and getting that cardio. All right, now holding that right leg. Hold that right leg. Three little kicks. So low, medium, high. Low, medium, high. Good. Balancing that right leg for me. Ah, back and booty. Hello. Excellent. Ten more seconds. I'll feel horrible if I accidentally kick this dog. Ah. Last time, and good job. Anybody else's butt hurt? <laughs> Mine does. Are you ready? Squat to kick in three, two. All right, let's pick it up. We're gonna squat, kick, down, kick, down. So now that you're familiar with that movement, let's get that cardio going. So sweep the foot, bring it together, down. Drop it quick. Try to keep those hands up by that jaw as if you were protecting that face. Don't gotta protect your boobies, protect that face. Squat low, kick. Get that heart rate up. Three, two, hold it now. Tap, tap, tap. Balance, control that core. Tap, tap, tap. Maybe we're getting out a little aggression, a little stress, getting outside our comfort zones here. There it is. Tap, tap, tap. Getting those obliques, those hip adductors, and those glutes. Five seconds. Hands up, and switching sides. So let's leap with that left kick, step together, and squat. Let's pick it up, squat, and kick right here. Driving with that knee and the neck heel. Drive, drive. Pick up that pace. Go a little quicker. Get a little lower. Yes, perfect. Good, my friends. It's the perfect time to try out some kickboxing moves when no one's watching, right? Three, two, hold it. Hold, hold, hold. Tap, tap, tap. Control, control, control. If you have to hold on to something for balance like a chair or table, go for it. Just isolate through that whole left side. 10 more seconds. I can find my own balance. <laughs> Three, two, ow. Good job. So last time through, hopefully feeling good in that booty. We're gonna get this done and go into some floor work. So you got five seconds. All right, squat right here. Kick, squat, kick, and squat. Sink it down, get low. Every single time, my friends. See, that's perfect. Pick up that tempo just like that. So don't sweep the foot. Knee, then kick. Okay? Knee, then kick. Good, my friends. Good. Stay low. You have five more seconds. Alright, now hold it. Hold it. Tap, tap, tap. See if you can get that high kick even higher. Look at where that toe is going and really aim, okay? Find that balance, hit it. 10 seconds, friends. Perfect. Last time. All right, switching sides, now go left. Left, squat. Left, squat. 
Excellent. Let's start picking up that pace. Excellent. Ten seconds. Three, two, hold it. Tap, tap, tap. Really focus on that toe leading with that kick. Seeing that low, that medium, how high and controlled can you get it? Good, isolate that left side, my friends. Try to get that guard back up by your face. If you lost it. Three, two, L1, good job. So we're gonna take it to the floor next, my friends. Grab your, um, your weights. You're gonna need them for that renegade row. But you're gonna start with an inchworm. You're gonna inch it down, reach, reach, come back. Okay, and then you'll hold it down and give me that renegade row with those power planks. And then you'll stand it up. You're gonna give me overhead, um, overhead lunges. Okay, and then we'll finish it off with the lunge and a twist. So you'll step back and look over that shoulder. All right, so down on the floor, inchworms to bird dogs, right here. So feet are wide. Walk it down, reach, walk it up, walk it down, reach that left arm out, low it. You want to add a push up here instead of that bird dog reach, you can. Three, two, and one. So hopefully you have your weights nearby. We're going into that renegade row with that power plank. Row, row, power plank. Almost there, my friends, finishing it strong. All right, so, now coming up, overhead scissor jumps. So, if you can hold it up here, hold it up. We're going to go into those scissor jumps. Not jumping, no problem. Step back, arms stay overhead, or you can hold it here. If you've got it, give me that cardio. That's my goal right here, to get that heart rate back up. All right, now, taking the last one, holding onto that weight. Step forward, twist, step back. Opposite foot, twist, come back. So I'm looking over the shoulder of the leg that's forward, I'm pushing back. Twist, come back. Step, twist, return. And one, good job my friends. So getting those weights down and ready for those Interims and then ready knee rows. Three, two, and one. Feet are nice and wide. Walk it out. You can give me that push up if you want. We haven't done any push ups. All the way out. Or just reach. Kind of like you build your own workout there. You decide what you want to finish off this last station with, okay? Good. Don't drop. All right, grabbing those weights. You're on that plank position. Renegade row, right? Left. Pop up, pop back. Right. Left. Pop up, pop back. Good. Try to keep that neck nice and neutral here. Don't let that chin creep into that chest. Three, two, and one. So, option to have that dumbbell holding it overhead as you go into those scissor jumps. You can hold it down if you ditch the weight. 
you can be stepping back if you need low impact. Less than 10, my friends. Now one, so holding on to that dumbbell. Step forward right, look over right. Step back. Step forward left, look over left. Get that full rotation here. Push. Make sure you're using that front leg to power up. One more. And done. Perfect, 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 my friends. So last set here. Final two minutes. And we're done. Kind of really fast. Maybe it's because I had the dog as a distraction. We got this all again. Nice and wide. Take it down. Inchworm, push up, or you can take it into that bird dog. Button back today, friends. Hope you're feeling good. Good, try to keep those legs nice and straight. Get into those hamstrings. All right, come all the way down. Find your dumbbells, Renegade Bro, power planks. Let's go. Finish it out. Three. dumbbell overhead. Scissor jumps. I want you moving. If you're here, I want it fast. Get that heart rate moving. Five seconds. Go for it. I have one. Here's your last 30. Holding onto that weight, step forward right, look over right, step back, left, and back. Here's your final five, last one right here, and good job my friends, you are done. Hopefully you feel good, <clears throat> strong in that booty and that back. Thanks always for joining us. Always appreciate it.